welcome to another episode of Back in the Fucking Day, brought to you by yours truly, Hodge VA, and I gotta do it guys, I gotta give you another double Moab by one clan member, this is actually a triple Moab done by my boy Jasper, he gets two Moabs, double Moab, by himself, and my boy Toshiba is actually trying out for the clan. He gets a Moab, so we get true. Uh, fuck, fucked up. We get three Moabs in this gameplay. Triple Moab on the map, Fallen, and Jasper goes beast mode in this bitch. He goes, I think he gets close to 70 kills, and I think he only dies like three, four times. So this is beast gameplay. Um, I got a story for you guys. That might not extend this gameplay. This gameplay is pretty long. It's one of my longest, longer uh, videos. It's about a little over 10 minutes. So um, I'm just winging it with the story. I didn't have a story really planned out. So I'm just going to give you this quick story that I just thought about maybe like five minutes ago. So enjoy the gameplay. I might, like I said, I might be done with the commentary a lot sooner than expected. Um, but after the commentary, enjoy the great gameplay, guys. I'm here to give you guys great gameplay also, so enjoy the gameplay, enjoy the commentary, sit back, and enjoy the fucking story. Back in the day, episode 13. Um, I'm thinking to name this or title this video. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm going to title it right now. Let's see why. I should title it, uh, Why Lie or Why Front. Now, let me get to this story. Yeah, I'll probably call it that. Why front or something? Or why do you have to lie or some bullshit like that? Alright, guys. This is what... I, I was back in high school. I think I was a senior. Yeah, I was a senior in high school. I had my boy M. And... It was on a Saturday... Yeah, it was Friday or Saturday night. And there was supposed to be a... A fucking, um... Hotel party. In the city I was in. So... My boy M told me about it, and his, my other boy F, and my other boy J, they were all like, hey man, let's go to this hotel party, this chick that we know, you know, throwing a hotel party, blah, 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 and now we were like, man, sh straight, we had nothing else to do, you know, back in high school, we all like, you know, you have those nights where you just hang, hang with the boys, like four or five of you running deep and just chilling, finding something to do, you know, trying to holler at some bitches and shit like that, so, um, hotel party, so we are like, alright man, straight. So we go over there, go in the lobby, my boy M hit, hits up the chick, and she, she comes out, and we find out it wasn't really a hotel, hotel party, it was like a, um, uh, it was like a, more of a family party type thing. She had a bunch of her friends there, but like her parents and cousins and everything, I think it was a birthday party, I don't know what it was, it was maybe her cousin's quinceanera, quinceanera, whatever you call it, like the sweet 16 thing, or sweet 15 for the, um, uh, Latino background people, you know, they have it for their females. I think it was her cousins, Kinsu Nira, whatever you call it. I'm not 100% sure. It's kind of vague, but I know family members were there. So, we're like, oh, damn, straight. You know, no big deal. So, we're chilling in the lobby, and then my boy M, he goes in there. She's like, hey, come on in, blah, blah, blah. So, we look around, and then, you know, family members are there. And then a couple of her family members were actually opposed of us getting in because, I guess, the way we were dressed. We were dressed, I guess, for the occasion. You know, we were dressed all like bandanaed out, thugged out, you know, baggy clothes, whatever, whatever we dressed. So we were just like, all right, whatever. So we couldn't really get in. So we we're like, all right, whatever. So my boy M, he was like, he didn't drive. So our boy F, he drove. So my boy M was like, hey, F, let me borrow the keys to your car real quick. He had an SUV. Let me borrow the keys to your SUV. And he was like, for what? I said, man, look, I'm trying to smash this joint real quick. So he was like, all right, man, make sure you clean up everything, blah, blah, blah. So we're like, so we just waited in the lobby and let my boy M and his girl do his thing. So we're just sitting there waiting, 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 talking shit, blah, blah, blah. Like, he came back within like 10, 15 minutes. So we're like, damn. Like, when he came back, we're like, damn, man. You done that quick? <laughs> right? He was like, he had this like straight look. Like, he was like all serious. He was like, damn, man, you know how to do what I got to do. I'm just trying to bust it up, blah, blah, blah. And then let's, let's roll. And then the funny thing is, when they came back, right, like, 
she was walking ahead of him a little bit and she looked kind of upset and he kind of looked all like stern and then like he just said bye to her and like you know like put it put his hand like in her lower back and she just went back inside and you, you know we were just like damn you know that that was fast and like we we're just it, it was kind of odd so he was like yeah i had to smash you that was it blah blah, blah. so we're like all right man <laughs> okay whatever so we Scrap that. Rest of the night, we didn't really do shit. Probably went back home and played some fucking video games. I don't even know. So the next day in school, right? She went to our school too. Next day in school, right? <laughs> I saw her at the locker area, and she was talking to her friends, right? So I was with my boy, waiting for my boy, and waiting for this one chick I was messing around with, um, get their stuff. So I was standing there listening, and then they were talking about like, hey, wow, what happened? Are you and M still uh, together, blah, 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 or you guys mess around? And then she was just like, <laughs> dude is cut. <laughs> and then, like, <laughs> they're like, what, what, what happened? And then she was just basically like, hey, we were in the back. She was explaining the whole thing. She's like, we were in the back seat, and I was ready to, you know, let him do his thing. And he couldn't get the condom on. And I was listening to this, and I was like, I started bust out laughing. Like, at first I was, like, chuckling, but then as she <laughs> kept on iterating, it was like, she, he, he couldn't put the condom on, and he couldn't do this and this, and we were just, he was just sitting there struggling and blah, 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 and I just started busting out laughing. So I, like, went up to her, and I was just like, hey, what happened, you know? <laughs> what happened last night? And then she was just like, yeah, your boy, man, he's cut, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to even date him no more. I'm going to dump his ass. He can't even put a condom on. We can't even do our thing, blah, blah, blah. And I just started busting out laughing, man. I was like, are you serious? And then she was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, damn, all right. And then I was like, all right, all right, whatever. So later that day, right, I, I meet up with my boy, Em. And I was like, hey, man, what happened, man? Like, you smashed that joint or what? You know, what's the deal between y'all? And then he was just like, yeah, man, I smashed it. I did this. I did that. You know, she's cut, though, man. She's cut. It was, shit wasn't even that good. And I was just like, damn, dude, you fucking straight up lying to my to my face. You know, she's saying that he didn't even get to smash it. And usually, in that kind of situation, I'm going to believe the female. You know how dudes always lie about smashing some chick? Or, like, just getting in her pants. They exaggerate the story a lot. But usually when you talk to a girl, she usually tells you the truth about shit like that. So, I was just like, man, you sure, man? I heard different. And then he was like, man, what do you mean? And I was like, man, I heard you couldn't even get the condom on, right? And he was like, no, no, yeah, I had trouble in the beginning, man. But I was end up, uh, ended up putting it on and uh, doing my thing and shit like that. And I was just like, man, you don't have to lie to me, you know. He was like, no, 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 I'm telling the truth. So I was just like, okay, whatever. I'm just going to, you know, it was my boy. So I was like, all right, man, I believe you, whatever. But it's just funny how, like, later fucking, um, later in that week, I mean, after that day, they just stopped talking to each other, you know? Like, they never, I never saw them again together or anything like that. And it's just like, why, why, you know, why do dudes have to front like that? Why do dudes have to lie to their boys about smashing? You know what I'm saying? I never really, I never lied about it, you know? I tell them what happened. Like, if my boys be like, hey, you smash it? But like, nah, man, but I got my fingers wet. Or I got to third base, but I didn't smash it. You know what I'm saying? I would never lie about shit like that, but... I don't know why people, I, I met a lot of dudes like that, man, even even not my boys, and like, they be just lying about shit like that, why, does that make you more of a man to lie and show everybody that you smashed it, you know what I'm saying, like, why won't you try harder or at least get in the pants and then tell the story, you know what I'm saying, you know, to me, it's better for a guy to tell to be truthful, especially if it's to your boys, you know what I mean? You don't have to lie about shit like that, but let me know if you guys ever ran to or know a dude that one of your boys that lied, you caught him red-handed that he fucking just straight up lied to your face about smashing some chick or some shit like that. Let me know. I mean, I did, I mean, I've met a lot of my boys have lied to me straight up in front of my face, and I, I guess I'll do a couple more episodes on this back in the day series so yeah let me know guys i want to hear from you guys um that's basically it for my story uh i just wanted to give you a broad story about that shit but you know let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys had the stories or have any dudes you guys know that lied to you in front of your face blah 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 whatever 
But anyways, guys, video is about to come to an end. I think I got about another minute or so, half a minute. But till then, till next week, till another episode of Back in the Fucking Day. I'll catch you guys later on the rebound. Deuce out.